In this video we're going to look at transposers and symmetric matrices. This is a notation for a transpose of matrix. It's 8 and then a tape of it. And the definition is B equals AT means AIG is equal to BGI. In other words, what this means is the rows become columns and the columns become rows. So let's do a couple of examples. Let's look at this one first. This one five, which is a column, just becomes a row, so it becomes one five. Very easy example. Next example, we'll do this one. The rows become columns. And the columns become rows, so it's going to be Notice how did these this row, this row is now this column and this row is now that column and that column's now that row and that column's now that row So we've changed the rows and columns the columns have become rows and the rows have become columns So let's look at the last example now This row here becomes a column. This column here becomes a row. So that's the matrix we'll get. And what we've done is we've just changed the rows and columns round. So this is the definition here. Because we know that this is IG. I, J in this one's now J, I element in that one. And it's the same for all these different things. So that's the definition in general. So now let's um, rub some of this out. Because now we want to look at some properties. Of transposers. So I've got some properties down here A transpose transpose is equal to A so that's in other words if we've got a matrix let's say we've got this matrix here what we're going to do is we're going to take its transpose so we'll get this This is A, this is A transpose, and then we're going to find A transpose, transpose. So we'll take the transpose of this matrix now, and look what we'll get. We'll get back the original. So A transpose transpose is equal to A. That's true. Pretty good. Property that. So we know if we transpose a matrix and then transpose it again, we'll end up back with the same matrix we started off with. That's our first property. Next property is if we times something by a constant C then transpose it, that's equal to transposing it and then times that by C, so this is our next property. And I'm not going to explain that one, I could give proofs or <coughs> examples to show why this is true in another video. And the same with these, I'll just mention them a little bit. If we've got A, if we sum A, plus B and take it to transpose, that's the same as transposing A and then adding the transpose of B. And A and B must be the same size because we know that if A and B aren't the same size then we can't add the matrices. And then the next property here is 
a times b transpose is equal to a transpose times b transpose. And obviously a b has to be defined. Because if a b isn't defined then this is just a nonsense expression. It doesn't really mean anything. So these are just little properties of transposes. And there'll be another one we're going to see later on when we've looked a little bit at inverses, but I haven't started that yet, so I'll just leave that for now. Next thing, I'm going to talk about symmetric matrices. So if I have a matrix A, and it's a square matrix, which means the number of rows and the number of columns are the same. So you can only have a symmetric matrix if it's square and also if A is equal to A transpose. So I've got A here and if I calculate A transpose and I get the same thing here then this made, that means this matrix is symmetric. And if I get a different matrix, even if it's just one value in a different place then the matrix isn't symmetric. So that's what symmetric matrix isn't symmet That's how we can tell if a matrix is symmetric or not. So let's take the transpose of this and see whether it's symmetric. Well, this 3, 7, yeah. Now we come to col uh, column. So it becomes that. And this here, 7, 3 now becomes a column, so it becomes that. And look, this is A, this is A transpose. These two matrices are equal. So A equals A transpose. So, yes. symmetric which is pretty good and we can always check this so let's do just do one of our example really quick let's call this B just because we're called the last one A just to so what we're going to do is we're going to take B transpose and if see if we'll get the same thing as that so this, col this column now becomes a row, and this column now becomes a row. Now are these matrices the same thing? Let's see. No, they're not. The 8's in the same place, the 2's in the same place, but notice the 5 and the 3 have swapped places. So. It's not symmetric. B is not symmetric because we calculated the transpose and we'll get a different matrix for this one. So that means it's not symmetric. So just because a matrix is square, it doesn't mean it is symmetric. But it also, if it's not square, then we don't even have to calculate the transpose, we know that it's not going to be symmetric. Because look, if I had a matrix like this, with any numbers, when I transpose it, I'm going to get a matrix of a different size. So it's clear that these aren't symmetric, isn't it? So we don't even have to check if it's just a rectangular matrix and not square.